Preface. This book, The Stairway to Freedom, was dictated to me by clairaudience, or as some people call, channeling, by a group of beings that call themselves the Great White Brotherhood. It is a guide to you and for you for your spiritual advancement. Who is the Great White Brotherhood? The Great White Brotherhood is a group of people who claim to have lived an incarnation here on earth, have since passed on to what is sometimes called heaven or the spirit realms, and have decided to come back close to earth to pass on their knowledge to us who are incarnate at the moment. They, the Brotherhood, are at various levels of spiritual advancement, some far removed from the low vibrations that we experience on earth, others not so advanced. They join their thoughts together in a chain, passing information from one to another, from highest to lowest, until, finally, the information is implanted into the mind of someone on the earth plane who has been trained to receive such information. In this case, it was I. I must stress at this point that I have no special qualifications to be part of the Brotherhood except that I was chosen by them many years ago, among many others no doubt, to permit them to work on earth because, as they are spirit and have no physical bodies, they cannot directly communicate with the majority of the population incarnate on earth. Thus, I was trained to become clairaudient, which is quite simply the ability to receive information in my mind sent from the mind of someone else. This enables a message or information to be sent from them through me to the person for whom the message is intended. In principle, it is quite simple. I try to clear my mind of any thoughts coming from me. Open a channel to them, who do the same, and the information flows. I hear the information as if I was talking to myself in my head, except that I have no idea in advance of the contents of the information being transmitted. I try to capture the thoughts as clearly as I can and pass them on as required. Warning. I would strongly advise anyone who wishes to develop the gifts of the spirit, as they are called, not to do so without the help of competent and qualified teachers, as it can be extremely dangerous. The reason is that if one opens one's mind into the astral realms, one is almost sure to attract the attention of a force in the low astral realm that would be of evil intent. The result could be catastrophic for that person. The low astral plane is full of horrible thought forms, plus creatures designed by nature to live there, and also the dregs of humanity who have died and are stuck in that plane. Unfortunately, to reach the true spiritual realms, one has first to pass through that low astral plane. With protection, one can achieve this. Without protection, one would be exposed to any and all of these horrible manifestations. You would not wish to be a victim of these forces, so I repeat, do not try to develop the gifts without proper training and protection. The technique for attracting teachers and for developing the gifts is fully described in the book, so I will not repeat it here. Other Spiritual Beings at the time when this book was being transmitted to me, in the 1980s, internet did not exist as far as the public was concerned, and so although everybody had heard of visitors from space, etc., very little information about them was available. The White Brotherhood flatly refused to talk to me about them, and so it is only recently that I have found out that there are, apparently, groups of people from other planets star systems or dimensions that are here to help us in a similar manner to that of the Brotherhood. Whether the intent of these people is truly spiritual, I cannot say. Whether they coordinate their efforts with the Brotherhood, I do not know. 
Certainly, the message is very similar, but we should sift the information given with caution, accepting only that which rings true in our hearts and rejecting that which seems doubtful. Why publish now? This book, The Stairway to Freedom, was dictated to me over a period of months starting in 1980. I was asked to make it freely available to the public, so I tried to have it published at that time without success. So I shelved the idea, waiting until an alternative means of presenting information to everybody became available. The time is now ripe. The information contained in this book is as valid now as when it was presented to me, and, thanks to the internet, it can be presented to you for free all over the world. I have recently been pushed by the Brotherhood to take the necessary steps to give you this information. You may make of it what you will. From experience, I know that you will react in one of three ways. Some will read the first page or two and turn to other more appealing activities. Others will be scandalised and do all in their power to deny the validity of the information. The third group will find that the book quite simply changes their lives. To those in the first group, I say, be patient. One day, you will be ready for this. To those in the second group, I say that I understand. For information to be accepted by the mind, pigeonholes have to be made for that information to be placed within. If you do not yet have a pigeonhole made for that type of information, you have no choice but to reject such information. Do not blame yourself. It is perfectly natural. One day, perhaps, you too will be able to accept the truth presented to you in this publication. To the last group, I say, welcome. Join with us if you wish. Join the Brotherhood and by following the precepts presented in the book, follow the advice peacefully and calmly and with patience. You do not have to play an active role if you are not ready. By the simple act of prayer, meditation and service to your fellow man, you will be acting in harmony with the Brotherhood and helping to reduce the hatred and violence in the world.